The 17 year old high school student charged in the stabbing death of 28 year old O'Shea Sibley will be tried as an adult. Sibley had been dancing with friends at a Brooklyn gas station when police say they got into a confrontation with another group. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor was in court for the suspect's arraignment. 17 year old Dimitri Popov entered the courtroom and looked at his family in the gallery as they waved. They said nothing after. Do you have any comment at all? Popov's attorney entered a not guilty plea on his behalf on charges that include second degree murder as a hate crime for the stabbing death of 28 year old O'Shea Sibley. He regrets what happens. Certainly does, but it doesn't mean that he's guilty of a crime. On July 29th, Sibley was dancing with friends at a gas station in Midwood, Brooklyn. The NYPD says a group of teens got into an argument with Sibley and his friends and spewed homophobic slurs and anti black statements at them. Security camera video shows both groups walking away. Sibley then comes back to confront Popov, who was recording with his phone, allegedly continuing to say hateful remarks. Sibley is seen following the teen, then lunging at him. The Brooklyn DA says Popov allegedly reached into his pocket and pointed a knife at one of Sibley's friends threatening to stab him. The stabbing happened out of view of the cameras, allegedly at the hands of Popov. The Brooklyn DA notes Sibley did not have a weapon. Defending yourself from being an anti-gay or an anti-black comment and arguing back is not a cause for someone to take a weapon and do what was done. Popov's My attorney claims his client did not did hurl not. hate speech. And I suspect that other people did that were not arrested. He says they're looking into self-defense, but it's early. Criminal defense attorney David Schwartz, who is not involved in the case, explains what that would require. What the defense needs to show is that this um, act was justified and that the defendant reasonably believed that his life was in harm or he was in danger of physical harm. The defendant first had to try to retreat from the harm before invoking the self-defense. Rallies and vigils have been held in Sibley's honor in support of the LGBTQIA plus community. It robs not just the family, but an entire community of the sense of safety and security. On the hate crime count, if convicted, it's a minimum 20 years behind bars, the maximum 25 to life. Popov's next court date is October 10th. Outside of the courthouse in downtown Brooklyn, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News.